Right guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me, I am right back at King's Golf in East Grinstead, the best golf venue in the UK. And as you can see by the title, I'm putting two different clubs up against each other today. I'm putting up a hybrid against a driving iron to see if you guys are in the market for a club like this, which one you should purchase. Driving irons over the last few years have been getting in a lot more people's bags. There's a lot of PGA Tour players now that have a UDI with a two iron, maybe even a one iron, but there's still also a lot of people that have hybrids in their bag. With me today, I've got the TaylorMade DHY, a quite forgiving driving iron. You've got one that is slightly less forgiving, but I thought I'd get one with a little bit more offset today. And I've also got a Cobra Rad Speed Hybrid. This comes in at 21 degrees and the driving iron comes in at 19 degrees. So maybe just from that alone, you'd think that the three iron here, the driving iron would go a bit further. But I wouldn't be so sure. So in this video, I'm gonna hit both of these on the launch monitor here at King's Golf, get some numbers for you and talk about which one could be right for your game. Let's set some balls now. So driving irons versus hybrids, what is the main difference? Well, let's talk about it cosmetically first of all, because hybrids are a lot bigger. They kind of come down the fairway wood category. As you can see by this Cobra Rad Speed here, it's larger, it's like a little fairway wood and it's got a deeper face than a driving iron because it is a metal wood. What has happened over the last few years though is driving irons are now kind of shifting almost towards hybrids. This driving iron, this DHY that I've got here, if I put it down and compare it against the Rad Speed, obviously the Rad Speed hybrid is a lot bigger, but that driving iron does have a lot of offset. And that's what a lot of brands are now offering with driving irons. The overarching specifications of a driving iron and a hybrid is that a driving iron, you usually hit up on a little bit more. It's probably for players who have a faster swing speed, who can shape the ball, and they're kind of harder to hit. It comes out with a lower launch angle, lower spin, and all of these things are for the better player. A hybrid comes out with more spin, it's a higher launch angle, it's usually easier to hit, and you can hit down on it. Now, a lot of hybrids in the past kind of have a bit of a draw bias, the way in which they're weighted. Now it's changed and they're just, the way in which they can optimize the CG makes them more forgiving than ever. But driving irons are kind of doing the same. So that's why you can get driving irons that are forgiving, that don't have to be for those scratch players, which is kind of the one that I have in my hand today. First up, let's hit the Cobra Rad Speed because you can probably tell here at Golf Magic, we're a big fan of the Rad Speed line. I have the Rad Speed driver in my bag. I'm not particularly a fan of hybrids, but I know that they are extremely versatile and you can use them pretty much in any lie. Whereas driving irons, it's a little bit different. So as you can see by that one there, I couldn't really hit that one that much better. That is a smash factor of 1.5, ball speed 155 and it's going over to 277 yards with this club with a carry of 252. That one there is quite a low launch angle, but you can see my attack angle is pretty much neutral. I reckon I could even hit this one a little bit down on the ball and it would be okay. But for a club with 21 degrees, that's gone a long, long way. If I were to continue hitting these shots, just long-term, hitting five or six shots with them, this one, comparing that to a driving iron, I would imagine it would be the most consistent. Well, you can see that one there, my left, the, uh, the face open of that one. We're gonna show the misses here at Golf Magic because we should do. But I hit that one very well, just left the face open and I didn't really get any diminishing results in terms of distance, still going 260. But if you look at that spin rate there, just climbing up, that's what you'd expect with a hybrid. And I don't think you'd expect that with the driving iron. This one feels a lot easier to hit. If I was recommending a club to someone who's off 15, 20, 25, just as a base without seeing their swing. I'd always recommend a hybrid because to put it simply, they are easier to get off the ground. And if you were to miss hit it, it would get better results than a driving iron. So that one there was a little bit out of the toe and it actually went a little bit right, which is always good because with hybrids, I feel and with a lot of clubs, if you hit it slightly out of the toe, you're always a bit worried that it's going to duck hook. That one there, a little bit out of the toe. And a spin rate increase just to make sure to get off the ground. Launch angle decent, and it goes to 260 yards. 
So you can see that one there was probably the best of a lot going to 280 yards. Spin rate still getting to about 2,700 or so. Smash factor a bit better, but you can see this club is consistent. Maybe I should, should I put it in the bag? No, I'm not putting it in the bag just yet because I'm going to hit this TaylorMade DHY now. I had this in the bag for quite a while and it's chunky. For a three iron, it really is chunky. And that is the difference between driving irons nowadays. You don't get the sleek looks that you always used to. You still can have that. For instance, tailor-made piece of a 92 iron that I do actually currently have in my bag. That one is a lot harder to hit, is a lot sleeker, a bit less offset. This driving iron here, it's almost kind of in between a two iron and a hybrid because it's got so much offset. So that one there was pretty good out of that one. A little bit higher on the face that I'd like. But what you can see there, and this is why there is a bit of a change in driving irons now, is that spin rate is actually quite high. That is pretty similar towards the hybrid. All numbers are actually pretty similar towards the hybrid, although it's not going as far. And that, as I said, I'm not that surprised about. Yeah, so funnily enough, I'm getting pretty similar numbers with that. That's gone 280 yards as well. Almost a mirror image of that shot that I hit earlier with the hybrid going 280 yards, carrying about 250. The reason why you see a lot of tour players using driving irons is because they can shape it a lot more. Let me just grab my tailor-made piece of a 92 iron out of my bag, purely for interest. And this one here is a lot sleeker. So let me just compare this to the DHY. And you can see the two iron here is actually a two iron. This is what people have in their bags when they're tour players and they don't need a bit of forgiveness. And the reason why they have them in their bag, as I said, is you're still gonna get very, very good numbers, pretty similar to the ones that I've got before, but you can shape it. With the hybrid and even with the DHY, you don't see a lot of professionals with things like that in their bag because they're harder to shape. They're harder to hit a right to left sweeping draw, try harder to hit a high fade. They're more for the player who just wants to hit it straight. Now I've got the piece of a 92 iron here and this one, just for comparison, is a lot harder to hit. I use this on the course and I know every single time if I don't hit the middle of the club face. Like that one there, I struck so far out of the toe and you can see with that smash factor, you can see with that spin rate, only carried 200, still rolled out to 240, but I knew that instantly. I knew that instantly off the face. And you can see with these three clubs, there is such a big disparity because I barely, I could barely tell with this Cobra Rad Speed if I hit it out of the center, if I hit it out of the heel or out of the toe, because it is so forgiving. That is a club that will go straight more or less every time if you put a good swing on it. The middle club here, this driving iron, the DHY, still provides a lot of offset and it is forgiving. You can see it is chunky. It provides a bit of forgiveness. It's got a larger sweet spot. But then when you go down to the one that is for a tour player, a one with not a lot of offset, this two iron, which can barely be classified as a UDI just because it's basically a two iron, that's when you're getting that pure low launch, low spin that you see tour players use because they're gonna hit the middle of the club face every single time. So they're gonna get that pure tour ball flight every single time. Something that we can only dream of. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today, just looking at the difference between different types of driving irons and hybrids. The main difference here is that you do tend to get lower launch, lower spin, and less forgiveness with driving irons. But if you look around, you can find driving irons like this DHY here that still provides a lot of forgiveness. You get slightly higher launch, and they don't have to be used by just people off scratch. I would always recommend someone who isn't very confident at striking the ball to go for a hybrid first. With a deeper face, higher spin and higher launch, it's meant for a player who needs a little bit of help getting it off the ground. But if you're confident, if your long irons are something that you pride yourself on, have a go at one of the DHYs. Have a go at the piece of a 92 iron because you'll be surprised how far they go. If you guys have enjoyed this video today, leave a like down below and let me know in the comments what you use. Do you use a hybrid or do you use a driving iron? I think it's becoming a little bit more split now in 2021 with the movement with technology and making driving irons a lot more forgiving. If you guys are new to the Golf Medic YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of our videos. There's a lot of very exciting product reviews coming out very, very soon, so keep your eyes peeled. I'll see you guys at the next video.